Uh, now we're going to cover implementing portlet actions. Interaction between a portlet backend and a user is handled by portlet lifecycle methods. MVC commands are life rate provided portlet lifecycle handler components. They are single class OSGI components that are responsible for handling an action defined by components in the mvc.command.name property. They are meant to be used with LifeRay MVC portlets. Now three qualities wire an MVC command to the right action in the right place. These are wiring to a certain portlet lifecycle, responding to a certain command as defined in mvc.command.name, and registration to a certain portlet via the javex.portlet.name component property. Uh, notice that an MVC command can be tied to uh, more than one command and more than one component property. This diagram is an overview of the architecture of MVC commands. Notice in the middle, it has listed out the MVC action commands MVC render command, which we will be going over in detail on the following slides. From the diagram, you can see that these commands are called in JSPs, which are then registered in your portlet. MVC render commands handle the portlet render phase. They call the MVC command component by setting the MVC render command name parameter, as shown in the code snippet. MVC action commands handle the portlet action phase. They are typically related to model updates through form submissions. And you can see in the code snippet what an MVC action command might look like. Finally, MVC resource commands handle the portlet resource serving phase. They don't invoke the render phase and page refresh. They are used for updating lists with AJAX calls without refreshing the whole page subscription actions, as well as CAPTCHA checking.